Hello, this is Jeffrey Bale, N1BMX. Today I would like to show you how I took my Radio Shack 97 scanner and with the help of some software and a little modification to the radio to decode APCO 25 or P25 um, digital signals into analog. Um, I didn't want to go out and spend $300 on a scanner that would decode it when I have a scanner that I already don't use here. <laughs> I figured, yeah, it's worth a try. I'm very new to digital, so this is all new to me. And um, so far, it's been real fun. Um, I have a radio that is capable of P25, and I have it set up right now on the um, ham band. And I have a receiver here for those who never heard of a P25 signal. And here's what it sounds like. That's just a carrier. Now I'm talking on one BMX, and that's all you're hearing. Um, so if you hear that signal, it's pretty much a P25. Not sure what D star sounds like yet, but that'll be another day. So what I did here is I, with the scanner, I tapped into the uh, discriminator, and I have an audio cable running from the discriminator, which gives a nice flat audio to the um, input of my sound card and with the help of some software that's running on Linux um, the Linux is the key word here, um, you cannot run this on Windows able to um, decode it and convert it to analog um, I found all this on the internet by googling everything you know, P25 digital software and um, if you go to n1bmx.com you will read up on it and see all the information so I will type in DSD which is the program name um, I think it's called digital signal decoder hit enter and there it is waiting for the um, digital come in and uh, when I hit the microphone you will see the um, a lot of data traffic coming over the screen here's a hit with the button oh, that wasn't me but here we go and I was just pushing the microphone down here you can tell you what system it is it's a P25 phase 1 I'm not sure if it supports phase 2 which is on newer ones um, the NAC which varies but most of it usually says 293's which is sort of like a digital PL and then I think this is the tag number um, it changes but mostly it's 91 which is the tag number on the radio um, so I'll, um, I will key the microphone again and you'll hear the, uh, the audio even though you'll hear my voice and the delay so there will be a delay coming out of the speaker and uh, more BMX, BMX test, test. digital test test, 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 test. and as I'm, and talk talk as I'm talking as I'm talking you will see, you will the, see the signal come on the screen, screen. And <laughs> it's hard to talk when you get your voice coming back at you, but it just shows you that it is decoding it, and it does work. It just takes a lot of patience. It took me about five to ten minutes to do the uh, modification here on the radio. Um, I was running Windows before, and what I did was I downloaded Ubuntu Linux and um, installed it as a dual boot system so when the, I start the computer up I can either do um, Ubuntu or Windows um, it took about an hour and a half to two hours to install the software for me I'm running it on a 1.7 gigahertz AMD processor and it does a pretty good job at decoding it um, I hooked it up on and I started scanning around and I found a bunch of uh, P25 stations in the area so it's pretty amazing and um, if you get into it have some patience because <laughs> you're going to need it um, hopefully this was somewhat informative just wanted to show you that it is possible and that it works um, thank you very much and that's all I can say <laughs> 73's